Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very exciting project to share with you all. We will be diving into the world of artificial intelligence and microcontrollers by running a chat GPT on the ESP32 microcontroller. Now, if you are familiar with ChatGPT, you know that it's a powerful language model developed by OpenAI. It is capable of generating the human-like responses and engaging in the conversation. And have you ever wondered that if it can be run on tiny device like ESP32, NodeMC or any other microcontrollers? Well, that's what exactly we have to find out today. Now, in our today's video, by the end of this video, you will definitely learn that how you can generate or how you can connect your ESP32 with ChatGPT so that you can have a real-time conversation or you can say the human-like conversation with the AI language model that we are learning or we are talking about today that is known as ChatGPT. So this is all that we are going to do and also not only this much but by the end of this video you will also be able to make your own web server on which you can have a conversation with your chat GPT and get the responses from the chat GPT side. So this is all that we are going to cover in our today's video. Now let's straightforward go to the project and let's start how we are going to do this. So let's get started. So first of all just go to platform.openai.com and over here you need to first of all sign up or log in so if you are uh, here for the first time you just have to sign up and once you will uh, sign in uh, then it will ask you for the details like first name last name organization name and your birth date or you can say if your birthday basically so you just have to fill up that and once they are done just click on continue and it will take you further uh, for the verification process now here it is asking you to enter the mobile number with which you want to link it so you can enter the number which you have never used so just enter that number so that uh, you will not face any difficulties in uh, logging in and also it will ask you for the puzzle you have to solve it up just for the verification that you are, you are a human being only right so just uh, do that step and uh, then you are good to go So the verification complete now it will send an otp on your whatsapp number which you have entered so just check that uh, otp and just pass it here so after the verification completes it will take you inside and over here will go to usage and inside usage like you can see here they have given you a grant of five dollars and that will expire by 1st September 2023. So by this time you can use this free credits to connect your ESP32 with your chat GPT. So that is what we are going to do. Now inside this API keys, we are going to create a new API key, which we will be using to connect our chat GPT to ESP32 or anywhere, right? So just uh, copy this uh, secret key or you can say the API key because we will need it later on. All right, so as you can see that we have created the API key which we will use further to connect our ESP32 to your chat GPT. So before connecting it directly to ESP32, let's first verify that we will be able to connect this to our chat GPT or not. So for that, we will first of all verify this on our postman where we can actually check whether our API is are working properly or not. Or you can say where we can check whether we are able to hit the get request, post request, put request or whatever request we want to do. So we can check that over there using the authentication methods that we have available. So for that, let me first of all open my postman so i have it installed on my system so i will directly open it up but if you don't have it installed so in that case uh, you can download it uh, from the internet if you don't have that i'll provide the link in the description you can uh, check that and you can install it on your system right so we'll do that now over here you can see like uh, i have opened it up now firstly i'll click on plus and over here i have to pass an api now what is that api so this is the api like api.openai.com slash v1 slash complete completions so basically this is the common api which everyone have to pass there is no changes in this 
and over here just because we are hitting a post request where we will also have the data that we will pass so we'll do that also right and now just because it's a post request you are also going to connect to some HTTPS server so for that we need to set up some headers through which we can authenticate like yes this is we who wants to connect to our account right so this is what we are gonna do and for that we have to go to headers so I'll go to headers and over here we have to pass the keys and the values for that so firstly our first key will be content type so here the content type will be application slash json because data will be in that format and second one will be authorization now over here you have to pass the authorization with like this bearer space and just after that you have to pass the api key that you have just created from the chat gpt account so this is what we have to do so let me pass it here okay so it's created now after that we have put the content type and the authorization now the next step is that we'll go to body and over here we'll go to click to raw and here json is by default selected now here you have to pass up the parameters through which you're going to pass the data right so what is that so let me pass it up so it's basically this here we are having four values or you can say four key and value pair where first is your model which is text uh, divinci-003 this is not the only model that you can use you can use other models as well i'll show you that as well and other than that here it is prompt like where you're going to pass what message you're going to send like what exactly you're going to ask uh, to your chatbot so this is what you're going to do and here is a temperature which controls the randomness and creativity of your generated text because based on that only we are going to get the best results that we are actually looking for so in this case we are going to set the values in between 0 to 1 so we can change this value in between currently i'm just putting the 0 just for the very focused data so that's why i'm just putting it if you will change this value between 0 to 1 you will get a, a desired results right and accordingly maximum token is just the size of a token you can say like how much data you want to uh, get in the output because it depends like what answer you want to get or let's say what's the length of your answer that you want to get from the chat GPT based on which you're gonna ask the question let's say I'm asking a question as who are you and I want the result in a very simple and a short uh, statement right I don't want the complete clarification like uh, like you are a person you're a human being and what else you do I just want to know like who are you that's it so it's a very short and sweet answer that I want. So that's the reason I'm setting up the value for maximum token as 50 or 5 or 10. You can set it accordingly, right? Currently I'm putting it as 50, but you can change it accordingly, right? And now let's talk about the model because as I said that there are multiple models that I can get. So let me show you what other models you can also use, right? Just click on this. I'll open it in a new tab. Now over here we can go for this summarize and just open it any one of it now over here you can see here is the model currently this is the one which we are using but here you can select whatever model you want to use if you want to use this text query 001 you can use that you can use text baggage 001 you can use that you can use text ada hyphen 001 you can use that and in fact not just this one show more models and you will get some more models as well so now it's up to you which model you want to use so currently we're gonna go with this text uh, divinci hyphen 003 only so uh, that's up to you if you want to go for a different one right so this is how we are going to get that now let's go back in here and just because we have passed the headers as well as we have passed the body in the json format so now i can simply hit the uh, like post request on this api and let's see what output are we getting so let me click on send So as you can see here, I have got some output and basically this output is something uh, you can say it's not an error. It's something like uh, HTTP response as 200 and we have got some output for what we are actually asking for. We are asking who are you and based on that I'm getting I'm a person who is interested in learning and exploring the things right. So it's like that. So just because a token I have put it as 50. So if I'll change it to 5, let's see what's going to happen. So I'll send it again. 
you can see i am a just because five uh, tokens or five characters are not enough to describe that so that's the reason i can change it to let's say uh, 20 for example now i'll set send it now you can see i'm getting this thing right so in this way you can get a different result depending on the tokens that you are setting up right so this is the way to do that now i hope you have got a clarity like uh, what exactly we can do with this now it's time to connect this to the esp32 just because we know that this api is working absolutely fine so now let's try it with esp32 and let's see how it's going to happen so and for that here is the code which i already have and in fact this is the link where i have this code in fact in the two ways one is the simplest way which we will try first just like we have tried right now so this is the one which i am going to open just open this code i am going to click on raw and i am going to get copy all the data and uh, now i'll go to arduino and over here i'll paste this up over here i'll have to change the ssid and password so i'll change that and also i'll pass the ssid token or let's say chat gpt token which we have created so let me put it up here i'll pa paste this so this is all that i have to do and currently you can see who are you this is the same question that i'm asking here also but if in case you want to change you can change that as well right so it's totally up to you like how do you want to go and similarly we have further other uh, things as well which you can check in here like this is the same model which we are using and uh, other than that uh, this is the temperature value that we, that we are putting and maximum token we are putting it as 7 and just because you know 7 is not going to be enough so i can change it to let's say 10 or 20 whatever you want so you can set it accordingly so in this way we will, we are going to get that right so now just because we don't have anything extra to be uh, do in this case and it's the only thing that we are using is esp32 so you can directly connect that esp32 to your system directly and uh, we can start working on it and if you don't know like how to interface your esp32 with arduino ide you can check one of my previous video where i have explained like how do you connect esp32 with your uh, like uh, arduino ide right i'll attach the link in the description or with the video as well so you can check that and you can get that thing done but for now i'll simply go in tools and i'll simply select the board for esp32 so here is the one do it esp32 dev kit v1 this is the board which we have to select and port number is also selected just because i have already connected my node mcu to my system so this is what i have already done so i don't have to do anything else now i can simply upload the code and let's see what's going to happen All right so the code is uploaded and we have also passed everything correctly now simply open up your serial monitor on the board red 115200 and let's see what's going to happen so it's connecting first of all ip address is generated now over here you can see id is generated for this object text completion created this model is this choices oh let me first of all stop this auto scroll okay so over here we have this text is i am a person who is interested so basically we have got this much just because we have simply set up the maximum token as 10 so this is the output that we are going to get and just because in this code we have only done it for a single thing and that is just for the one data one data is who are you means the single statement only single question and that's what we are going to get and this is going to repeat every time that's why it is again uh, doing the same thing again and again right so this is the way how we can simply get that thing done right now the same thing we can do for the other step as well and that is the second code complete xia chat gpt so we can click on this complete this one raw and let me copy and paste it now here we'll create a new file or you can say new sketch paste the complete code here and here again ssid and password you have to type chat gpt token you have to pass in here 
the rest we don't have to do anything here just because as per this code it is creating a web server locally on your ESP32 and on that you can directly interact and you can directly start talking with your chatbot. So this is what we can do, right? So uh, let me put the SSID and password and uh, chat GPT tokens. All right, so I've simply passed up all the SSID password and the chat GPT token. So now I can simply upload this code as well. And I, I can also try that whether it's working or not. So I'll simply upload it because I don't have to uh, make any further changes. All right, so it's done uploading. Now I'll simply go to serial monitor and click on this. Again, first of all, let's start connecting to that. Now you can see IP address is generated for your ESP32. So this is the same IP address on which the web server has been created. Now I'll simply copy this up and I'll open it in the browser. Now you can see this is the complete interface which is by default created we don't have to do anything and all the code is written inside uh, that ino file which is the arduino sketch so now i can simply start talking in here i'll simply ask who are you and i'll simply submit output will not be coming here it will come on the arduino ide only serial monitor See, chatbot answer is I'm a human being, right? So this is the way like how it's gonna reply, right? So this is the way how you can get the response for that and whatever you want to do, you can do that using the chat GPT with ESP32, right? So that's all from my side for today. I hope you have understood like how do you connect your ESP32 with chat GPT and how you can answer the questions or you can ask the questions to chat GPT using the ESP32. So that's all from my side for today. I hope everything is clear. If you have liked this video, do click on the like button and if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel also you can hit the bell icon if you want to get the notifications from our channel if in case we upload any new videos on our channel so that's all from my side see you in our next video till then bye bye and happy learning